Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragalia Foundry, a fan channel where everything Dragalia lost can be found. Today's video is going to be my summoning session for Gala Yudin, aka Gala Prince. I'm starting us off here by showing some old footage from last Friday, which was the first day of free tenfolds. I showed that off in my first anniversary tour video toward the end, so you may not have gotten to it, but this was my very first tenfold of the Gala, and as you can see, there was a rainbow sword, but not the one I was hoping for. So I got a duplicate of Leia in this circle, and not much else, it pretty much just amounted to Eldwater. Basically what I'm gonna do for today's video is actually run us through each of the free tenfolds. Since if you watched my Gala review video, you'll know my advice to players was do those free tenfolds first, see what you get from that, and let that inform how much Wormite you actually want to spend on the showcase. There's no point in wasting all your Wormite day one if you end up getting your target or whoever you're trying to summon later on through those freebies. So I didn't get anything super special through my daily deal, but I just did it because it was a cheap summon at a pretty good appearance rate. So nothing really to report on day one. 11 summons, one five star. At least I got Leia, so I did get some Eldwater out of it. But as you can see, my free summon was just Aoi, so nothing too special on that day. Moving on to day two, well, things went pretty well. At least that's how I felt at first. So let's go ahead and play that now. When it came to day two, I was very hopeful since once again, it looks like I was going to get a five star right away. So that's always a great feeling is having a five star immediately. It means that at the least, you know, you're getting a certain amount of Eldwater out of the circle. And to top things off, well, the circle had a couple of things that looked very appealing to me. There's a staff which could have been Nurse Eileen, a wand that could have been Noelle, and that rainbow bow could be my personal white whale, who is Cerise. I spent probably 500 summons, free to play summons, trying to get Gala Cerise when she first came out, and I did not get her, and actually went down basically to zero resources. So this is my chance, just like last circle was my chance at Gala Yudin. This was the moment I knew it had to be Gala Cerise, but of course, no, it's Luis here to troll me, being better than Eleonora for a lot of content. So kind of a disappointing circle, but honestly just getting a free five star in every circle so far, pretty good, can't complain about that. So Luis being there instead of Gala Cerise, yeah, that was, that was pretty tough that day, I have to admit. But at the same time, you know, Gala Cerise is still very rare. There was an equal chance of her appearing there as any of the other five-star bows. And she's the only one I'm missing. So the likelihood of me getting exactly her was kind of bad. But the good thing is she's going to have a raid up in a couple days. And I'm going to probably try to pull her then. So let's move on to day three. And for day three, interestingly enough, I actually got another free 5 star. On day 3 I actually did a very fun countdown on the Discord in our voice chat channel with everybody. Everybody has wonderful voices, it was nice listening to them count down and scream in excitement either for their summons or because this was also the day that the Fractured Futures trailer came out. So I was happy that their luck rubbed off on me, our Discord community helped me out. And I once again got a 5 star in the circle. This time it was a dragon, and there's not a particular dragon I really want at the moment. Extra unbinds are always welcome on my dragons like my Vayu. I actually like extra unbinds on Garuda, oddly enough, because I want to use her on Eleonora. But instead, I got Cerberus for the first time ever. So I had never gotten a Cerberus up to this point in the game. Finally, she makes an appearance, and... She hasn't been here since launch, but since very close to launch. She either came out early November or late October on Navid's banner, so she's been around for a while. And these days, she actually has pretty tough competition in the form of Konohana Sakuya, as well as Apollo. So she's no longer the obvious best flame dragon as she once was. She 
always had the same aura as Agni, but with a better skill, so that kind of set her apart. But moving on from that day, since I didn't get anything really from my daily deal, on the fourth day of free summons, what did Dragalia Lost give to me? Another five stars. So we are four for four, if you're keeping track, but no Gala Yudin. So here we go. We get a five star, but what's it going to be? Of course, it's another dragon. So like I said, I wouldn't mind some unbinds. The only dragons that would feel kind of bad to get are probably Jean d'Arc because she's an HP dragon who had already max unbound organically just by summoning a lot of copies of her. And maybe Leviathan since I recently spent a Sunlight Stone on my Leviathan since it was only missing one unbind and we were getting so many Sunlight Stones for free. But of course, I get another new dragon, no unbinds to be found here. I get Long Long for the first time. So he released earlier this year during the Skyborn Spectacle Raid and the Springtime Breeze Showcase alongside Linyu and Kuhai. Long Long still holds up, I would say. He has a good dragon form, good aura for characters who can ac achieve a high amount of critical rate, but his competition is increasingly tough. So then, I actually decided I'm going to go ahead and do the Platinum Summon. So the Platinum Summon guarantees you one of the Gala 5 stars, Three of them were dupes for me. I already have Mam, I already have Gala Ronzel, I already have Gala Cleo. We actually got two five stars in the circle, another dragon, and then one of them is gonna be a Gala Adventurer. So I was hoping for Cerise here or Yudin, and it was the sword, so pretty hopeful, pretty hyped. I also randomly got this Arto, so I guess a lot of bears lately as far as dragons go. You know, Meridimus just got voice lines, so maybe it's hinting that I should make a bears team and just bully Midgard Swarmer with all bears or something. Here we go! Gala Yudin, yeah. So it was Gala Yudin on my Platinum. So I actually did this a little bit prematurely. I just got impatient and wanted to do my Platinum Summon. I probably could have waited until the end of my free summons to do the platinum, but the platinum doesn't affect your pity rate or anything, and I was planning on doing this either way to get the Eldwater, even if I only needed one out of five of these adventurers, like either Galiudin or Cerise. If I just needed one, I was still planning on doing this because I think the value is there for that amount of Diamantium for a guaranteed five star and a chance at a new Gala adventurer, even a 20% chance. Gala Yudin so far has been okay. He's definitely a little bit below my expectations. I would say a good tier below Gala Cleo. And a lot of that just has to do with his SP cost on his second skill being extremely high. So it takes over 60 seconds. It charges slowly over time, but it takes over 60 seconds to charge, which when you're in four mats like the Mercurial Gauntlet and you only have one to two minutes for a match, it's not to say he can't be used to clear, but I guess I should say it's not really optimal or not ideal. I don't know if that 1 million SP cost of his was a placeholder and it's actually supposed to be lower and right now it's a mistake, but it doesn't seem like it because it hasn't really been pointed out by the devs and Delphi is coming in with the same cost, but much faster to charge skills. So Galiudin didn't shake out quite as I expected, but of course, I still had one more day of free summons left today where we actually got all these gifts from the Dragalia devs. I'm going to collect all of that and I decided if I don't get a 5 star off of this circle that I'm doing for free, since this is Gala and the rates are relatively good, I think I'm going to continue and actually try to break my pity rate and see what random 5 stars, what Eldwater I'm able to collect. So of course, here to wish me well was Eleonora, so I already knew this was going to be a good circle going into it. Unfortunately, that staff wasn't Nurse Eileen, but then, after this Orion, yup, Nurse Eileen showed up on the second staff, so at this point, if you're keeping track at home, I'm only missing Emma and Noelle of four star adventures in the game. I'm also missing some on the Halloween showcase, but I'm probably going to be able to pick those up next month. So I'm still missing Noelle, I'm still missing Emma, who both are very good, and unfortunately that Rios in there didn't end up being an Emma, but no 5 stars here, so it took me a while to decide, but I decided after this I'm going to go ahead and continue, keep summoning, see if I can break my pity rates, 
kind of a bad idea, given I had gotten Gala Yudin off of that Platinum, and he's really the reason to continue summoning on this Gala versus the other one. But since Gala Cerise is the only thing that I want on the other Gala, and I do have over 500 summons saved up now, I felt like I could afford just to break my pity right here just for value, not specifically trying to snipe or target something. We'll see if that comes back to haunt me because I am going to try go for Gala Cerise. As bad of an idea as that may be, I definitely don't need her for anything, but with her being the only Gala adventure I'm missing, I really want to give myself a chance to complete my collection. So that's the main reason I'm going to go for her. So there I'm looking at the pity raids, just trying to decide whether or not I'm going to continue pulling. I'll fast forward here through the singles since there wasn't really anything noteworthy in the singles. But after all of my singles to increase my pity rate, I did still have to summon an additional tenfold. So let's switch over and go to the additional tenfold now. It looks like I wasn't going to get a five star on this first circle, but then I got that rainbow transformation, thankfully. So I didn't have to carry on too long to break my pity rates from what I had before. Basically about 19 additional summons. And there you can see it is a sword and there are some possibilities for me. I don't have Yaten, I don't have Summer Saliera. So at this point, there's a chance, but I do have Albert, I do have Navid, I do have Xander, I have Galiud, and I have Galaranzal. So the odds are not in my favor here. And as it turns out, it was Gala Yudin once again. So I got a dupe Gala Yudin. Maybe I could have saved my platinum, but it's not like it would have made a difference in this particular case. I didn't randomly get both Yudin and Cerise and want to save that. So I guess I wasn't punished super hard for wanting to use that platinum early. But that is going to do it for this video, everyone. That is all of the summoning I had to do for Gala Yudin. Thankfully, was able to get in and out relatively quickly. I hope that your luck was as good as mine on this. Definitely let me know how it went for you in the comments below and tell me, were you planning to spend mostly on this or are you saving for the Gala that's going to have past characters on a raid up? Otherwise, everyone, take care. Thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you next time.